Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Now, I know that you guys love military tents, so do I. That's why I have two of them for you all today. Now, this is the French F1 Commando tent. You guys have seen this before in a previous episode and so on, but you have not seen this bad boy. This is the French Desert Commando tent, and we're going to take a look at it now. Come on. Now I'm going to start this by setting up the F1 Commando tent. That is the green one. When it comes to the French F1 Commando tent, the material is nylon for this bad boy. In general, the price is going to be around $50 for this tent. As you can see here, this is a uniform shelter. There's only one component, the body. With many military style tents, there's two parts. The components are split up between two soldiers. That is not the case with this one. Now, when it comes to the weight for the F1 Commando tent, you were looking at almost six pounds. This bad boy is a little bit heavy. Most of that weight comes from the stakes. They are extremely heavy. And this tent comes with tons of them, tons of them. Very heavy duty. You're not going to bend these when you push these into the soil or when you bang on them with a rock. I have heard that this is one of the most widely used of military tents in the entire world. I have not seen any information to actually back that up though. I can tell you that the design is great. Uniform construction, you know, it's very, very simple, easy to put up. And now that I've done a quick pitch, let's take a look at it. So to start off here, let's take a look at the components. This is the storage bag stuff sack. Right here, you have stakes and you have guy lines. They are both included. Here's the tent. I did a quick pitch, as you all can see. Now for the setup of this tent, I went ahead and I used my own cordage because I wanna show you all something. This is a pro tip for you all to consider and to remember. This is where I tied my line out, went down to this stake here, went underneath the tent, up to the pitch of the roof, to this stake down here for the sides. Now you may be wondering, Luke, why did you make this mess? Actually folks, this is not a mess. This is something that you all need to keep in mind when you're in the outdoors and you have cordage. It is always a good idea to keep your cordage whole. Do not cut that up unless you absolutely have to, unless you absolutely have to. When you're in the elements, backpacking, bushcrafting, and so on, cordage could be the difference between life and death. So keep it whole if you can. So what I've done here is just a simple of basically loops, looped everything together, tied no knots, perfect. Now, as you all can see, I did a quick and dirty setup, and essentially this was for speed. I mean, if I had more time, I could make this look real pretty, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. Plus, you guys have seen this tent before in a previous episode, so this will be real quick. This is the door here. You have three zippers. So as you can see, I'm inside of the tent now and there is a ton of space inside of here. In my opinion, this is a one man tent. If you are really, really close with somebody, you might be able to push it to two. But in all reality, this is a perfect shelter for one individual, their gear, and that's about it. There's enough room here to sit up. Your head will touch the material up at the top. That's okay, you can change clothes, do whatever you have to do. Now, as far as ventilation goes, you have this door here, you have another door that's exactly the same on the other side. And on the sides here, you have vents. You know, so for 50 bucks, this is what you get. And it's not bad. Of course, if you want more information about this, you can watch my review on it that I had in the past. I will try to remember to put a link in the description box for you all. You know, for 50 bucks, this is one awesome tent. It really is. It's very functional. You know, it's very durable and strong. It's not a cheap tent by any means, even though the price is low. You have YKK zippers here. You have very thick, strong nylon material. And now that we've taken a look at this one, let's take a look at the other one. With the Desert Commando tent, this is actually my first time setting this bad boy up. Let's see what the differences are besides color. Now, of course, with these tents, they are made in France. Imagine that. Now, when it comes to the materials of these, I am not entirely sure what this is. I mean, it feels more like a tin, a very thin steel, maybe. I'm not sure. They weigh just a little bit more than the aluminum poles for the F1 tin. That's not a bad thing because the F1 poles feel very, very weak, in my opinion. These feel a little bit more robust. Definitely the spring action inside of these is much stronger. 
it feels like a better quality pole in my opinion stakes guy lines let's take a look at these now the guy lines for the most part are the same the material is a little bit thinner than with the f1 the stakes are without a doubt much much different much different desert commando stake f1 commando stake serious difference in size and in weight these are a little bit overkill though to start off with the setup process use your four stakes two on one side two on the other one thing that i do notice here with the desert commando tent is that the staking hardware is rubber some sort of rubberized material some sort of fabric that's been coated with something with the F1, all of the hardware is metal. Now, one thing that dawned on me while setting up this tent is that with these stakes, if this was to be used in a desert, these would be absolutely worthless. Stakes like this anchored to the sand very, very poorly. This would not do. Of course, on dirt, it works perfectly. Next up, you need guy lines. One for the back, one for the front. You need two stakes, one for the back, one for the front. Also, you need your poles, one for the back, one for the front. Now that we have both ends staked out, let's go ahead and do the vents here on the sides. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what differences do I see? Well, I've already talked about the hardware, it's different. Instead of having the metal hardware for the stakeout points, you now have some rubberized material, okay? The next thing that I've noticed is fairly substantial because there's only one door, one door, and it's on the other side. This side of the tent has nothing but a wall. Now, personally, I don't like that. I'm a huge fan of the dual doors. That way you could control the airflow, right? It makes setup so much easier. Here, you really have to know what you're doing. You really have to know where the air, the wind is coming from. Otherwise, you could get very hot inside of this tent. With the F1 Commando tent, the zippers were YKK. These are not. I'm not entirely sure what brand of zippers they are. They're not YKK though. They do seem like they are of a good quality. Now this is huge, guys. This is huge. I didn't realize this until now, but check this out. You have one main zipper. Here are the front protective doors. Ah, there's no longer that third level a zipper because you now have some bug mesh. This changes everything. Three-way zippers. The mesh can be rolled up and stowed as well. Whereas the F1 had no mesh for the doors, the Desert Commando does. Now stepping into the inside of the Commando, the Desert Commando, this is essentially the same tent. You have the vents, the only real difference is that back door. There is no back door. So you have the side vents. You do have the back wall. There is some mesh up at the top, very small amount. Then you have the other side. Today it's roughly 60 degrees and inside of this it is hot, plum hot. I can't help but imagine how much better this tent would be if that was a door or if it had more mesh on the other side. But with that being said, what we have here is a tent, a military tent, which is fairly lightweight for military standards. It's one piece, it's easy to set up, it comes with all the hardware, the quality is very good, and the price is right. The price is right. $51 for this tent as well. That's incredible. So when it comes to the materials for the Desert Commando tent, they are essentially the same as the F1. You are looking at nylon materials. The weight comes in at 5.8 pounds. So it is definitely a little bit lighter than the F1 Commando. Now this tent is used with the French Foreign Legion in West Africa. Comes with the exact same components as the F1. They say this is a two man tent, but in all reality, it's good for one person really. So what we have here are two very cool military tents. We have the F1 Commando and the Desert Commando tents. I have to say that I like both of these a great deal. The price for these is fantastic. $51, you could find these all over the place on eBay, keepshooting.com and so on. On keepshooting.com where I bought mine, it says they were used. These are brand new. I could tell instantly that these are brand new, never been used before. And I tell you what, the quality and the price is perfect. It really is. I've reviewed so many military tents. They're so expensive, but not these. What you get here is a fantastic bang for the buck. Now I say that because, well, that's my opinion. I'm not endorsed by keepshooting.com or anybody else. I don't care if you go out and buy one of these. My channel is agenda free. I simply pass on my thoughts 
that's it. Now, I am sure there's one viewer out there who is probably scratching his head right now and he's thinking, Luke, why do you have the F1 Commando tent? Because I bought it from you. Well, my friend, that's because I went out and bought another one. After I sold that tent to a viewer, I've been thinking about it nonstop. And I had to get one back in because it's just a cool tent. I really don't know why I sold it to begin with. I shouldn't have. So I got that one in and I also got in the Desert Commando. And I'm glad I did. I really do like both of these tents. Now in the past with my previous testing of the F1, I did take it out in some rain and it did very well. I didn't have any leakage, but that was a pretty minor little rain shower. So I'm, I'm interested, how waterproof are these tents? How much rain can they really handle? That is something that I'm going to test out here with the channel if you guys are interested. If you are interested, comment down below. Let me know that you guys would like to see these tents being used in a summertime, springtime storm. Essentially what I'm thinking is we need to take this out for an overnight trip into a rainstorm. We need to see how well it performs so we can get that baseline. Then we need to go to work and waterproof this ourselves. I'm thinking seam sealing. I'm thinking about coating it with a waterproof coating. Let's take this thing to the next level. Let's see how much it costs to do it and what the process is like. What do you guys think about that idea? If you like that idea, comment down below, share your thoughts. Of course, if you would like to support the channel, I would appreciate it. That's through Patreon. Every donation really does help folks. Again, my channel is agenda free. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I don't have a store. I don't work with other companies to sell you guys products like some people. I get contacted all the time by companies who work with other YouTubers and they ask me what my rate is. They will even tell me what the rate is for other channels. I'm not going to really discuss that any further. I don't do that. I, I don't get paid for my videos at all. I don't do discount codes or anything like that. And the simple fact is because I'm agenda free. I'm not trying to sell a product. I pass on the information to you all. That's it. That's my goal. So, if you'd like to support the channel through Patreon, it is appreciated. Hey, a dollar a month is $12 a year. It's not bad, right? Okay, so with that being said, let me know what questions you all have about these tents. The F1 and the Desert Commando. $102 worth of tents right there. That's an incredible bargain. That really is. Yeah, we need to do a military surplus overnight adventure. What do you guys think? Coming up soon. Everybody, strength and honor. I'll see you guys around.